guys, welcome to Geeky Baker and we are ready to get started decorating those cake pops. So for this you are going to need a variety of Wilton's icing sugars. I've got yellow, red, white, and black. Those are going to be the primary colors. Then you're going to need yellow melting chocolate, white melting chocolates, blue melting chocolate, and pink melting chocolate. You're also going to need a little bit of red modeling chocolate, but if you decide not to make M. Bison, that's okay. You can just make extra of other kinds of characters. So, you ready to get started? So I'm going to start with my Hadoken Fireballs, and those are going to need to be shaped a little bit more. Just make sure that they're nice and rounded. Then you're going to dip them in all the way down to the cake pop. And I just tap these. Spinning as you're tapping. And then you're going to carefully put it into some type of cake pop receptacle container. Lavet, are you going to help make cake pops? Okay, so now we're ready to get started dipping the rest of our characters. And in my container here, I have about a cup of yellow melting wafers and a cup of pink melting wafers and that was the closest to flesh tone that I could get if you wanted to make this a little bit darker you can always add a piece of brown like one of the little wafers of brown add one at a time until you get to your desired color so I'm going to start with my Chinese dip make sure you cover up that um, <clears throat> little nub at the bottom that you dipped. And just keep letting this fall off. Now, once you have that nicely done, you're going to put that into your cake pop holder. And I'm going to do the rest of the Kin, the Ryu, and the Chun Li in the exact same fashion. Okay, so what I've done for this portion is I have angled M. Bison's face just a little bit down at the bottom. So I'm going to dip. his face will be less rounded. Now for the first part of our Hadoken parts of our cake pops, we are going to go in and just kind of smear around a little bit of the white does not have to be perfect at all. Should look a little bit lumpy. Then we're going to take some of our blue and we're going to sprinkle that in. It's okay if they mix a little bit. Because you want those colors to kind of look they're mixed together. And as your chocolate starts to cool, it will start to lift up and look like an energy ball. So I'm going to do the rest of those, and I'll be back in just a second. So I'm going to take my red modeling chocolate that I made using some confectioner sugar to make sure it doesn't stick. I'm going to press that into the shape of M. Bison's hat. And then we're going to pipe the bill on with some black icing sugar in a little bit. So just fold that down. So next we're going to take a little bit of our white modeling chocolate for his hair. So it'll also help your hat to 
stick. Just start putting that on the sides there for a hairline. and attach your hat. Make sure it's going to fit all the way on there. And set him off to the side to harden. And I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. Okay, so in my piping bag here, I have a very small amount of melted white chocolate. So I'm going to cut off the very smallest amount of the Okay. So now I have just a little bit able to come out. And what I'm going to do with this very first is I'm going to pipe M. Bison's eyes because they are white and his mouth. So you might have to squeeze a little bit. I am going to decorate, give M. Bison an angrier look. And I'm also going to outline his mouth. So now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to add in M. Bison's bill of his hat. So M. Bison has a small logo on the front. So we're just going to add a little bit there. Okay, so now using a black tone melting wafer, I'm going to be adding the hair for Ryu and Chun Li. Remember, Ryu has a distinctive red headband, and Chun Li has a distinctive little white um, bun covers on the top of her head. So, we're going to start with our Ryu, and he has spiky hair on top. a little bit before it will spike. Just adding that down the sides and around the back. And as that cools a little bit, you'll be able to get a little bit better spike on that. So next, I'm going to use my uh, red icing sugar with a number five tip. Attach one of the halves of the coupling devices and I'm going to add Ryu's red headband. I'm just spinning my cake pop as I do this. If you miss some spots, just go back, fill them in. Now 
and then you're going to add some tails down the back where it was tied. Awesome. So for Chinley's bun, we are going to use a white decorating icing with a number five tip on it to pipe out her buns. So we're going to take our white decorator's icing and we're going to pipe a nice cute little bun cover. So pile it up. So I'm going to go in and start decorating my cake pop faces. So I'm going to start with Ken and give him some very dark eyebrows. I'm going to go in and create his eyes. Small nose. And then give him a mouth. Kind of got a little of a smirk there. Then I'm going to do the same for Ryu. Eyebrows. Eyes. He's going to be gritting his teeth. We can go back in and fill that in a little bit. Then we're going to go in with Chun Li. Give her some lighter eyebrows. Her little nose. And then we'll go in and give her a smile. So now I'm going to go in and add some danglies for Chun Li's buns. She's got some little streamers that kind of run down there. Hi guys, it's the Geeky Baker. Thanks so much for joining me today on making these Street Fighter cake pops. They are so delicious. I don't know which one to choose. They're all so cute. I think I'll have to go with the classic Hadouken. See you next time.